Hello and welcome to Straight to Coding. In this video, we are going to talk about or we're going to also implement App Store Server to Server notification. Okay, and as you can see in this documentation from App Apple, it says here that specify your secure URLs in the App Store Connect to receive version 2 notification. Okay, so assuming that you have an endpoint and you configure that in the App Store. Apple, the App Store will send notification to that endpoint via post method and it will expect 200 back. Okay, and this is a payload it will send to your endpoint. Okay, so the prop only property in that notification object being sent to you is a signed payload and it's basically a JWS uh, in, is, is in a JWS format. Okay, and it's signed by the App Store. Okay. Now this signed payload, I mean, even we're not going to discuss it, we're not going to read this discussion. Let's go straight into implementation of it, okay? Alright, so I've got here a typical .NET Core web application, okay, web API, okay? And as you can see, we still have the web forecast here, so it just means it's just a simple thing that I just set up, okay? Now, we have create, I've created a, um, a controller and this is the endpoint okay and i have a processor that will process the notification coming from apple okay now if you look here this is the typical um object coming from apple and it will only, only contain the signed payload now this is how i process it okay or this is how it should be processed it should be ver verified and then decoded the signed payload should be verified and decoded. Okay, once it's decoded, you will have a data type, data on, on it, data property on this version two. Let's have a look at the version two um, the object. It will contain notification type and the subtype, and it will contain these two uh, notification metadata, and then it will have a data property here. This data property would also contain. Um, extra bunch of information here including signed renewal information and signed transaction information again you need to verify this and decode it and you also need to verify this and decode it this is not always available it will depend on the notification type that you have okay sometimes it can be no so it means that there's no renewal information for you okay and it clearly states that in the documentation okay so it says that the data object contains a signed transaction information and depending on on the notification type a signed renewal information pass and base 64 euro decode these signed jws representation to get transaction and subscription renewal details okay so that's what you need to do this is not always available it will depend on the type of notification that you are getting okay so we need to verify and decode the signed payload and then in the signed payload we need to make sure that data uh, property exists otherwise we will throw an exception and then as i said earlier the renewal information will depend on the notification type so what we are doing here is we are checking if it if it exists if it exists then we need to verify and decode it the same way that we verified and decoded the main notification object we will also de verify and decode the renewal information version 2 and then we will grab that data we do the same for the transaction as well transaction information we will verify it the same way and then we will decode it and then grab the transaction information and then this is how we are making use of it basically this is your part of the code that is dealing with the notification okay in our case we're just updating the internal subscription and that's it okay so without delay let's uh, start this application and then make a request to it okay I've already started it and we have a postman already set up okay so this is the endpoint this is my local endpoint and you will get it in a post notification and this is the body okay it's in a json format as well and this is a typical example of a signed payload that will come from apple okay 
now send it let's click on this sign send and then now let's see how we deal with it okay so this is the ob coming this is the endpoint data coming in okay so we are going to see how we verify and decode this data this signed payload we just make sure that it's available so we do some minor checks here okay and then this every signed payload will, co will come in three parts JWS header and the payload and a signature a representation so these three parts will always be in the signed payload and it also clearly states that in the documentation as well that each of the signed JWS presentation the signed payload transaction information and the signed renewal info have a JWS signature that you can validate on your server okay but if you look here it says that the signed payload pass the signed payload to identify the JWS header the payload and the signature representation okay so we expect all these three to be available okay so we we split it and then we just make sure that it's available so basically we are just ensuring that there are indeed a three part to it okay and so basically, basically what we do is just check that all three parts are also not known okay so that's what this part is doing and now we are going to verify the the the, the, pay, the signed payload okay so here we create a typical JWT security token handler and then what we do is we use the handler to read it read the token okay and this is how the token will look like it includes the header this is the header part and um, it will include the payload part as well okay this is the payload part the header part okay and the rest a bunch of information okay now in the header part we have something called x5c this is a bunch of certificates we need to grab those certificates okay and then convert them into a list of strings okay and now what we are going to do is now going to validate using the certificates okay so we take the first one of the certificate along with the token and the handler and then we are going to validate it if we validate it and it's invalid we will then throw an exception back to the app store Okay, so let's go into it and we we'll just attempt to grab the public key from it from the certificate okay from the certificate okay now we we'll grab the public key and then we will attempt to validate now this validation if anything is wrong it will throw an exception so once we throw an exception we we'll we will um, send that public key that data the exception back to the app store and an app store will deal with it okay but in this case is is valid okay so once it's valid then we know also that the second part of it is the payload so we grab that second part and then we decode it let's have a look at how the decoding is done okay so the decode is ov obviously the base 63 URL encoder so if you go into um, here it clearly says that as well that is a basis of three URL encoder so you need to decode it okay so that's what we are doing here decoding it and now we have uh, the object let's have a quick look at the object this is the object okay this is what you expected and this is the data part of it now remember that there's also part of the data there's also assigned renewal information that you need to de verify and decode same with the transaction information as well so these three steps here one and two will also do the same thing okay so because this is not always there we need to make sure that before we attempt to decode it is there okay and then once it's there we use the same methods that we used previously and then we decode it and verify and decode it okay so now we have a renewal information there okay we do the same thing for the transaction as well verify and decode 
using the same method okay because they are also the same structure so you can use the same method for all three of them okay now we have a transaction information as well okay and now what you do with it, those three information is entirely up to you in our case we are updating our internal subscription okay with those information and once we are done we then send back 200 to the app store to acknowledge that we've received the notification okay and if for some reason if it wasn't valid or there was any issue with the the data coming from app store or maybe it's been tempted tempered with then we will send back we will end up having an invalid invalid um signed payload and then we will return back 500 to the app store and the app store would also deal with this um response okay so it's a very simple basic um endpoint that apple app store requires it's not anything big deal okay so I will leave this pr um, source code in GitHub and I will I'll add the link in the description of the video. Check it out and make use of it as much as you want. Okay. Thank you very much guys.